Welcome back to the locker room right here in the Radisson Hotel and Conference Center. Time to take a look around the rest of the NFL. Let's start in the north. The Vikings, all of a sudden, 6-6. Six and six. And if the playoffs were to start today, they'd be the seventh seed. Wow. And uh, I think it all kind of started when they came to Lambeau and, and upset at the Packers. And they've been winning ever since. Bigger deal. Giants start the season 1-7. and seven. They now have won four straight games. They lead the NFC least at 5-7. and seven. <laughs> Bigger deal that they're in it now under first-year head coach Joe Judge, or that the Seattle Seahawks lost to them 17 to 12. Well, that was a, a horrible loss by by Seattle at home, losing to the Giants. But I, I think the Giants are just playing outstanding football, football right now, a lot better football. It's yeah. definitely a week-to-week -week league. The Rams beat the Cardinals. Can Los Angeles get dip back to where they were two years ago? I think so. They have a great coaching staff and a, a, a great quarterback who's playing up to his potential. Baker Mayfield and the Browns absolutely hammer the Titans. Right. I mean, it was up probably, what, 38-7 to 7 at halftime, maybe. Yeah. So uh, you got to give those guys credit. A lot of, have a lot of talent on that, on that team, on that roster, and they're starting to, uh, to play like it. Kind of like the Vikings. New England crushes San Diego. San Diego. The Chargers from Los Angeles, 45 to nothing. Can the Patriots make it to the postseason? I think they have a chance. Anything. I think this, this year is going to be uh, uh, it's going to be like a ton, uh, uh, a corn toss. Whatever it lands on, that's who's, that's who's going to get in. Previously undefeated Pittsburgh gets beaten by Washington. Are the Steelers contenders or pretenders? I think they're pretenders for win it at all. Win it at all. The winless Jets had a chance to beat the Raiders on the last play of the game. Did they tank with that all-out blitz? Uh, they did, and uh, I think the defensive coordinator he got fired. Kind of got uh, fired in the shower. Yeah, one cool thing from that game in Las Vegas, our main guy, Alec Ingold of the Bayport and Wisconsin football programs, second-year guy leading the charge with a pep talk in pregame. That shows you how much John Gruden really likes him. Well, he's a, uh, he's a bona fide leader, and that's great to see. He is a home, homegrown kid, and it's great to see him out there uh, just playing. Uh, his uh, childhood, childhood dream. Tough, tough guy. That's yeah. a first for sure. All right, when we come back on the show, it's time to wrap things up with our keys to beating the Lions. Don't go anywhere.